The elderly in Kentucky have already lost nearly $13 million to fraud this year. And that is how much was lost all of last year. These are our parents and our grandparents, and they are losing their life savings. WDRB's Christy Batista telling us how you can protect them from scams. It was horrible. Patty Castor was scammed out of $1.7 million last year. I lost everything. The 75-year-old shared her story with us last week. Scammers convinced her to liquidate all of her assets, including selling her home. Well, I just can't believe I was so naive. She was one of thousands in Kentucky who fell victim. The FBI says last year the elderly lost $12.8 million to fraud. So far this year, $12.7 million has been lost. It's really, truly heart-wrenching to be talking to the victims and learn how it has impacted their daily life. Uh, many of these victims are losing their entire life savings to someone that they thought they were in love with and thought they knew who the person was. Supervisory Special Agent Kirsten Passmore offers some advice to make sure you or your loved ones don't fall for one of these scams. Never click a link from someone you don't know. Review your financial statements for anything suspicious. Shred anything that has your personal information. And if you get an email from someone claiming to be from a government agency, verify that email address. For Castor, she thought she was getting something from the Federal Trade Commission. But when she checked, she realized it was from a Gmail account. You are being contacted by people and you don't know who they are and things start to look a little bit off, take a breath, call someone, call a family member, call the FBI, uh, and we will work it, work, look at the information and work it through with you. She says, don't be embarrassed. It can happen to anyone. The most important thing is that you report it. With photojournalist Neil Johnson, Christy Batista, WDRB News.